Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, uh, we are not, in fact, going to look for, uh, the Baron Sergeant. No. Uh, we are going to actually look for a Witcher's contract that we don't even have yet, is on this notice board. And apparently this has, um, this looks blank. Oh, it must be this one. Yeah, the Phantom of Eldberg. This is the one. So a lot of people have been saying, check out this contract before you uh, take care of the chi the children's quest for Crocs. So uh, we're definitely going to do this. Uh, a warning. So got a taste for my darling Hild. Prepare to taste my axe. <laughs> uh, got you a thirst for fame and glory. Come talk to me. We set sail for the south towards the Black One's lands. Uh, I broke my harpoon on a whaling trip, need a new one, has to be of the highest quality. Don't you try to cheat me, you're, or you'll pay with blood, from Nut. Selling a helmet scraped off a black one's head. Stiff was an officer once, seems. Okay. Mead maker, I make the best mead in Ardskellig, meaning it's the best in the world too. Fair enough. Now, Phantom of Eldberg. If you got this far, clearly you know how to read, so read the rest and read it well. A wraith sprung up on Eldberg and covered the whole isle in fog and put out the light in our lighthouse. If you're afraid to face a ghost in battle, stay far away from Eldberg, for there you'll find neither gold nor g glory, only death. But if you faced such phantoms before, then know that I, Jorand of Arenbjorn, will pay my own gold to you if you drive off the spirits from our clan's territories. That is what I want. So. Let's see if this comes up here. Oh, and he's right nearby. This is good. Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliger warriors alone drink in this town. Well, look. I'm not here for any trouble, but... Not looking for trouble. Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs. Like oh, okay. A heard a wolf howl at the moon. Do we really need to Looking get into to this? Eat? Wait, hadn't the yard then? Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence? Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Okay, I like this guy. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me die, Yorin. Or I'll tuck you oh, this is your end, okay. And you remember this stranger. This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. <laughs> you don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Okay, I'm into it. Now, let me just quickly chat with the merchant here. Well, what? Oh wow, super friendly. Show me what you've got. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him no. from the shape. No, how would I? How? Hey, cards, okay. So we've already read this book, The Lonesome World Guide to Speakerug. But, the Taller card, so this is another spy. That's beautiful, that'll be going in. Oh, a monster card, the crone, a monster fiend, and an Arrakis. Very cool, okay, okay, this is good so far. See ya, and thanks for the service. Really warm and kind. Now, I'll make a mental note to come back to him uh, at some point for a game of Gwent. But, in the meantime, let's throw Taller in. This is actually a great spy card because it does very little damage. And I'm wondering if I'd want to replace anybody um, just so we have higher chances of getting them. Let's see. Like, our weakest card right now is, uh, Vesemir, but with all our spies... Maybe I could get rid of a, a trebuchet? Like, our, our- actually our weakest card is our Blue Stripes Commando, right? But, because we have so many of them, and with all our spies, we have an opportunity to draw so many cards now. 
And so I think it's good to keep those because if we get two out there, then they're worth eight each, which is significantly better than anything else. I do have a lot of trebuchets, ballistas, things like that. I think that's maybe what I'll ditch. Uh, keep Vesemir in there for some flexibility so we can use our front line. But uh, yeah, let's get rid of a trebuchet for now. All right. Hi, Geralt. You don't often get guests from the continent, do you? I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Right, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. And who are those two guys that think they own the place? Those two boys, the pesky ones. Who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Oh, Depends. Leif. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bear. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Elberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess, guess, never came back. <laughs> didn't come back. <laughs> yeah, Nay, exactly. They didn't. <laughs> Mick Yell, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do as much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Well, both this reward, how much are we talking? Gotta say, I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Let's see. He's a businessman. That oh, works. God. Oh, Geralt. Doubt the yard be prepared to spit that up. Okay, how about 270? Okay. Hmm. I can add a sum, but not near that much. We're really stretching him at 250. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Ought to be said. I don't understand why under any circumstance you would ever not take these these contracts or um, any job, really. Okay, so how far is it from here? It's way up here. All right. So we do have some place along the way that we could stop, but I also want to check out the blacksmith. I'm just trying to listen to what he said. He was asking a question about what do, what do you witchers do when there's no basilisks or something needing killing. If me eyes don't deceive me, you're the white wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. You got that Someone's right. Someone's fed you a lot of... <laughs> and a friend of the great master Dandelion himself. The oh yeah. Master Dandelion. That explains it. <laughs> hey. Who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze. When next you see him, White Wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold as many achievements. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. Oh, it dandy. would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Oh yeah, Though totally. Smith by tree, I too do my best work in words. Let's hear some. Or I'll just buy some Wouldn't stuff. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. All right, so he doesn't have a ton of money, but he has some interesting items here. Let's see, this Mahakaman Steel Sword looks kind of interesting. 350 slash damage. Hmm. What else does he have going on here? Sapphire Dust, Ruby Dust, Emerald Dust, Diamond Dust. 
These are not what we need for any of the uh, alchemy things that we saw before. We're going to need to see an alchemist at some point. Uh, however, I can get rid of a few things here. Let's get rid of some of our trousers, con de tiers boots. Oh, he's already... Oh, these are very expensive boots. Wow. Okay. How about my saddles? You take those. That's good. Precision bolts does armor piercing. That's cool. Okay. And can you maybe do a quick repair for us? Alright, now. He's a he's an amateur, so again, none of these. What we really need to do is we need to get those uh, blacksmith tools at some point. So he's a Gwent player as well, so we got two people in this town that we can play. Uh, what was the one? What is it called? Price of Honor? No. Mul Here, get the blacksmith. Oh, we were on Unvik. That's right, it's on Unvik. I'm curious, whereabouts on the island is it? Oh, it's right down here. Okay. Well, that's cool. We'll definitely take care of that um, at some point. But for now, let's take care of... The Phantom of Eldberg. And we kind of ended up on a weird side here. Yeah, I've got eyes just like you. I recognize your type a mile away. All right, hope you guys don't mind if I borrow your boat. It's just a short little jaunt. Echidnas or sirens? Bridge, that's cool. Okay, let's check here. You know what we haven't seen for a long time is a place of power. And I don't think we're gonna see one here. Oh hi, pirates! Oh, come on! Yeah, why don't you guys just stand in there? There you go. Oh, get out, get out. Almost got us. Back. Whoa. Just exploded. <laughs> oh, I like that. There we go. The pirates are down. Oops. Now let's see what was so worth protecting. Oh, it's just a bag of... Oh, it's an unsent letter. Pearls of the Coast. 
Leaf, go round up a few pearl divers and bring them here, but good ones this time. Those turrets we brought in from Speaker Rook drowned before they could be of any use to us. I don't know, maybe that ship really has sunk too deep for any man to pull anything out, but it's worth a try. From what the survivors said, it was carrying a mighty hefty load of silver. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's right here. Please tell me we can jump off of this. Going! Oh! Well, okay. We prefer belly flops. Instead of perfect tens. Oh, it's not that deep. Ooh, a new sword? Please be awesome. We have a cave here as well, it looks like. An underground cave? Hold on, I can't not go in here. Okay, so... Innis. So this is slightly better damage. 40% armor piercing. Uh, we don't get the... The extra stuff, but we could remove some of those um, greater rune stones and put them in here. But we also have, like, you know, attack power. Are these all lessers? This one here caused burning. The only one I'd really want back is the armor piercing. But I like the burning. And I like the attack power. There we go. Looks cool. Now, I have no reason to be in here other than I'm super intrigued about underground caves. How could we not be? Come on. I wonder if there isn't a, uh, like some, I wonder if there isn't some Witcher gear in here. I mean, maybe there's nothing. That's totally possible. Just random cave. I think that that's it. I think this is just a random little cave. Wow, how bizarre is that? Okay. And we didn't check this body here. I'm sure glad that I did because now if I invest it, just imagine what that's going to be worth in 600 years or so. Okay, let's get back to our contract. I think we've definitely spotted the... The lighthouse. And I mean, it's haunted, right? Which is definitely a pre prerequisite to be called a lighthouse, is you must be haunted. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Not your average mist. Oh, it isn't. Let's 
get ready for anything. Now, oh, okay. I think we just saw a Wraith. Which is kind of what we expected to see. Ominous, man. Another Almost one managed to find cover. Almost. Now we're gonna look for this lighthouse keeper. Don't hey, know if he's alive or. There? I'd be surprised. Uh, how did you get Never here? Never mind. Oh god, he looks creepy. What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out. There's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. Okay, so what's this wraith? So it's bigger than the rest, but anything else? This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. You mean knew everything? Much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Are you Even sure? Daddy drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know? In case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. I mean, he seems like he might be a bit scared too, but I just want to check things out in his place. I don't need to take his stuff. I'm just, just investigating. It's a pretty big setup for one guy, but. All right. Well, to the lighthouse we go. Looks like we might have more wraiths here. Yep. Okay, let's see how much do we have left here. 22 out of 40. Let's just get that ready again. I mean, how big can it be if it's just in this tiny little light? Oh. 
What is this? Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Oh, Focused, I don't like this. Concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Okay, hold on. A penitent? The hell is that? Penitent. Turned out that the monster hiding or haunting the Isle of Eldberg and its lighthouse was a rare type of specter known as a penitent. Wherever his wraith or wherever this wraith haunts immediately becomes enveloped in thick fog and darkness, and those that wander into the, un the usually... Sorry, those that wander into it usually never return. In order to defeat a penitent, one must remain in constant motion in order to be avoid being stuck, struck by this agile creature, which can disappear and reappear in the blink of an eye and attack from behind. Most importantly of all, however, one must discover what keeps the monster bound to the haunting grounds and break that bond as soon as possible. Spectre Oil, Erden, and Quen. There we go. That was weird. We just kind of like... That was really weird. Okay. Now what's going on in here exactly? Oh, what do we have here? A letter. Letter to the lighthouse keeper. Got work for you, Mikyal. A ship's going to sail from Pharaoh to Arambjorn with a load of hides on board. At midnight, you're to put out the light in the lighthouse and keep it dark until we give you the sign with our torch. We'll split the loot, same as always. You'll get a tenth of what the sea tosses ashore until we meet again. What? Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. I'd say so. Anything else? No, hold on. So he was in on it. Let me just check what's up here. It's probably very important. Yeah, see? Okay, well, that seems to be pretty important. I'm glad we went in there. Oh! Let's see what he has to say about this. What what can he say, really? He's partly responsible for this happening. Phew. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I, 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 I can't go outside. It'll kill me. Maybe you deserve I can it. Feel it. Perhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go. 
before I change my mind. Well, we're gonna have to try and keep him alive. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get stocked up here. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Oh, we're not dealing, like, any damage. Oh, here we go. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that does a little bit of damage. Oh yeah. Not that. I guess we can only do the damage to her Light. or Light. him. Time to get this done. Oh, there we go. He lit it. That was actually perfect placement of our sign as well. Come on. Some of them are shiftier than the others. Yeah, see, that's what really is doing the damage to them. Now we're starting to do it. There we go. Here it is, an Ash Rune and a Wraith Trophy. And now what? Did, did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. I think you gotta leave. I mean, he knew what he was doing. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... We... I understand. I'm sorry, man, but that's the way it's gotta be. Feel for the guy, but at least he gets to leave with his life. Could be worse. So let's go back to Yorn and tell him what happened. Well, I don't know why I'm going all the way up here. It's not my intention. Here, we can use this to get back to Yorn. Well, we took care of the lighthouse. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. 
and around. Cheers to your health. Well, okay then. So long. Him again. Got a taste for Oh, come on, favorite. boys. Seriously? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I got to pound it into you. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna sound terrible, but pounding's better with a partner. Thanks, Yorin. Pounding's always better with a partner. We fighting? Yeah, looks like it. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Why is he? No. no. Oh, these guys are meaning serious business. You don't know what you've done. I can't believe that. He's down. What? So many raids, wars, duels, only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. What can I do? Can I... What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For your end. Son of Sigvald. Man, what? Who lived honorable and died like a fool. That sucks. Are you kidding me? See what's happening outside now? Oh, what have we done? It's not our fault. I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Tell the truth, you know, guys. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess we could tell him about the monster in the lighthouse. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. You are I'm kidding judged me. judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman. That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Well, this is taking a turn. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. And now we need to, what, escape? Oh, look at this is like a full-on... When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give lip during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Ooh. Can't you just let me out? Let's see what these do for us. I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. Okay, that didn't work out well. You're bored. Let's see if we can't confuse Grab him a, a bit. Pickaxe. Come on now. 
But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, aye. Right. Uh, come on. My land gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gonna die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you say to that? Okay, well, they attacked me, though, like... Fought to defend myself and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Huh? Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet. I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. Are you but kidding you me? you buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. What? Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually. End of the next century or so. I have a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's okay. against every law. I make the laws here. Go home late. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver around your neck and toss you in the sea. What is going on here? Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt. A debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos. Has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and non return from there. Should have known he'd wanted you're something from us. You're clever and good with a sword. Two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Well, I mean, obviously, we're going to do it. It's kind of like a thanks, but no thanks situation. So that's done, but... The Cave of Dreams. Join Blue Boy Lugos and his crew outside the Cave of Dreams. Lugos, Jarl of Clan Drummond, might indeed have been as mad as they said, but when they when the need arose, he could he could calculate as coolly as the sanest of men. When Geralt was brought before him to be tried, he resisted any howls for blood bring in his unhinged mind, and instead let the Witcher go, thus banking himself a debt of gratitude with a man well able to repay it. He then transferred that credit to his son, sending Geralt off to help Blue Boy Lugos traverse the nightmarish Cave of Dreams. What? That is crazy. So things turned rather quickly there. I don't even know, where are we exactly? Where is this location? Kaer Muir. Okay, so it's south of Arenbjorn. We've got an armorer here. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it everything here's for sale? Sure, if you can afford it. The Jarls are stickler for quality, so we keep no rubbish here. Okay, let's Zarkanian see. Zarkanian zephyrs, Mahak and battle axes, fairly leading short swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? 
The sea provides. Oh, yeah. And if it doesn't provide on its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> what? Yeah, think we just found all this on the shore, like seashells at low tide? Huh. What else do you bring back from raids? What else do you bring back from the raids? We focus on the essentials. Fancy wines, silk, baubles of all sorts. Oh, and wenches. For if we don't make proper use of them, who will? Oh my god. Have you heard about Hollering Holder, known as the Hellraiser? Madman Lugus' wife? Or Goldilocks Sansa, the most beautiful maid in the world in her time? Taken in raids, both. He sounds pretty proud of that. Show me what you got. All right, so what does he have here? Nothing too crazy. Mostly just materials, but he should be able to buy a few of our things here that we don't need. That's really all we're going to sell him. Nothing that I really need to buy from him, though. And, uh, you know what? Let's, let's throw down a round of Gwent here. I think we've deserved it. That was pretty heavy. I feel Wouldn't really bad about Yorin. Like, man, the thing is, is like we were even doing, we were fighting those guys and then just all of a sudden they kick us down and they kill him. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. He's got a monster deck. So our deck has kind of turned into like a pretty good spy deck, I think. Oh my God, that's a really, really powerful draw. Um, I'm going to switch out one of the Scorches. We only got one spy. Hopefully we can draw more. Uh, we don't have decoys either. Um, and actually, you know what? The commander's horn isn't going to do us a whole lot of good with all those uh, really strong cards that we have. Hey, that'll that'll work. All right. Let's see. What does his do here again? Arrakis. Let's go. Nice. Okay. That eliminates me from using my Scorch, too. Double the strength of your close combat units. Let's see if we can get him to play that. Come on, spies. De there we go. Spy and a decoy. It's perfect. Yeah, go ahead. Throw him back here if you must. More spies. It's working exactly as planned so far. I just don't see anything that can beat, like, all these spy cards. Like, you just get so... You get such a huge card advantage. He's probably gonna pass soon, to be honest. Well, this is good. Bring out all these cards. Go right ahead, pal. I don't mind at all. Use your leader ability, too, please. That would be... Just the nail in your coffin. Okay, so we don't have any more spies, so there we go. Now, Scorching's not going to do anything for me here, um, but he's not going to be able to bring out any of these types in the front line. He might have crones or something, but that's, like, literally it, so... Yeah. The only thing is that I'm not going to be able to bring any cards back with these two, but I'm still... I have to win two rounds, so let's let him have it. I've got 14 cards. He's got seven. Let's see what he's got now. Well, figured that might happen. So let's throw... Um, let's see. I kind of want to throw out two cards here so that I can bring them back with the medics. Otherwise, it kind of renders them useless, right? We only have the decoy in the graveyard that we can't pull back. So let's go ahead and throw... Let's throw these guys down. When the round's over, they'll come back, but that's fine. Because our medics will bring them out, so... Oh, beautiful. My god. Now, he's probably going to have some Scorches, so I'm going to have to watch for that. I'm going to play all my basic guys first. Then we'll play some of our um, leader cards. Yeah, there's a crone. 
This is probably a good opportunity for me to Scorch, honestly. Even though it's going to get rid of Death Mold, that's fine. Alright, so he's going to double this, the front line. That's okay. Now, he might, he might have a whole bunch of front line cards, but... We don't have a choice. We're going to have to play it out. Torrential Rain. That's fine. We can clear that out. Oh, he's got nothing. Wow. We just destroyed him. I really wonder what his other three cards are. If he's not playing them. Alright, let's just... We're going to play all of our cards just because it feels better. See what we win from him. Impenetrable fog. Well, I mean, I guess you can never have too many of those, right? So why not? All right. I guess this is where we take a bit of a break. Um, we've got this town out here. Where is the cave? It's down here. So I guess we come back. We should really do this. Um, we'll go and check out this little town here. We'll head down to this cave. We kind of we do owe him. We're quote unquote in prison ridiculous because nobody stood up for us I'm a little bit choked about that actually um, but yeah so we'll head down to that cave see how that goes and then I guess we'll we'll definitely make it a priority to go and talk to uh, Oodlerick soon and go from there also I do have to venture back to uh, where is it I have to go back to Unvik because uh, we have to get the blacksmith's tools so, I should have done that when we were there. I forgot that it was on Unvik, but not a big deal. We'll, we'll go ahead and head back. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.